Hello dear friends. So today I wanted to talk about my Hobonichi kind of collection. So I started off with Hobonichi Teko, the original 22 in 2022. And I actually filled this out pretty well. You can see there. I'm going to turn to this page. And this is really cute, and I really like this. Um, I eventually do fall off, like, a little after the mid-year. Um, but I had this whole, like, cute aesthetic going on, and I had these this uh, blue writing with this uh, pink and blue pen. And, um, yeah, I really like this. And I, I love that this had, like, the priority boxes. And then I like that it had this kind of schedule, so I can kind of figure out what I needed to do throughout the day. And then... On the side, I could always write what my tasks were. So I really, really enjoyed this. Um, and so that was 2022. And then in 2023, I had all these. So I liked this one so much. And I was like, oh, what if I try the big one, the cousin? So um, I started off OK. And then eventually. This is a spread that I have here. Um, I wrote a verse here. I um, So eventually I just kind of stopped using this planner. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. I started, I stopped using it in eight, in, in March. Is that what that is? Little for the Marcel. Yep. Because I was just really overwhelmed by the size and I felt pressure to use every single thing. Like I, I felt pressure to use the monthly, I felt pressure to use the weekly and the daily. So eventually I decided I needed something smaller. So since I liked this so much, I was like, I should go back to this. And I found out that there was an English version. So I bought the English version thinking that it would be like the Japanese version. Little did I know that it's very different. So if we open up a page here to do a comparison. Sorry. Um, first of all, like they removed the priority box, which I loved. So I don't know what that was about. And then they don't they didn't have all the times here, which like the whole reason that I get these planners is because I like, low key have ADD. Not low key, I, I have ADD and I just don't have time or the patience or like the mental capacity to be writing down the, the numbers. And so I really hated this. And I like, there's like this random 12, and I think this made it worse because it's like, okay, like what, how do I write what goes before that? You know, it's like, and then the there's like a dinner sign, I think, here. It was just not for me. I didn't like it at all. So I barely used it here. I think this is the last day that I used it. And I think I like disliked it so much that you can see it on my in my handwriting. Because if you look at my, my previous one, like I, I actually tried to make it nice and I enjoyed it. But this one I didn't even enjoy one bit. So that was the end of that. And this is my last planner for 2023. So 23, 2023 definitely was the year that I experimented. But I actually used this decently. So let's see. I have a couple tabs here. So the next page, the 17th, that's when I started using this planner. Um, I started using it in September. And then I got all the way to Jan to December. There's December. This is the last day that I used this. And that's just because in December I got so busy that like I just I couldn't even do this. Um, but anyways, these are my planners in the last two years. This year I decided that I wanted to give the weeks ago. And honestly, this has been like mind blowing. Like this is so... I love this so much, so I have a lot going on now that I'm that I have my job and stuff, and um, it's I love the weekly layout. I love that it's like this. 
I feel like usually I would prefer this, but it doesn't make sense for this size. Like this makes more sense. And I love that it has like these three like little things that you can divide. I haven't used this one. I only divide it here. Um, but it's it was fun because I got to experiment like what kind of layout I wanted and what I wanted things to to have. Um, but um, eventually I realized that I like having my events here. Um, and then I like having my tasks that are specific to that day here. And then before I realized that I wanted my tasks here, I kind of put them all here and it was just really overwhelming and I didn't know what to prioritize. And so for the following week, which is the current week, um, I did the same thing here. I added the tasks that are day specific. I have this like little column for projects that like don't necessarily have to be done this week, but I should work on them throughout the week when I have time. And then these are just random tasks that pop up. I have a little exercise tracker. I got these little um, sticky notes uh, because sometimes I have tasks that are specific to like a month. And so I want to be able to take the sticky tab and put it in the next month. Um, that way I never forget to like complete my monthly tasks. But yeah, this has been really good. And then I just added these tabs today. And for some reason I decided to film that video with like the phone vertically and I don't know what I was thinking I should not have done that but I added these tabs which is gonna be so good you have these like little ribbons that I actually cut a little bit because they were too long um, but now that I've been planning ahead which has been a game changer I did realize that I almost put tasks on the wrong page because like you'd think that I would know that this is the next page because it's so blank. But for some reason, my brain doesn't register that, even with this. So I'd, I was like, I need to, like another thing that will remind me what the, the current week is. So I put this here. And it's been awesome because then I can like really look ahead at what it is that I need to do. Like stats are due that next week. My cousin's birthday is the following week, so I should get her a gift this week. And like, I don't, and then like, you just kind of realize how short the year is when you look at all these weeks. And it's like, that's not a lot of weeks. I don't know. But, anyways, this, is, this has been really good. And then I have this page here. I have like some notes that I, that I like. So, like, James Clear, Atomic Habits. Um, just some planning stuff. And then my quarterly goals are right here. Um, I don't know. I kind of maybe in the future would like to have maybe the week's mega. That way I could write like a ton of notes. Like especially when I have like meetings. I could have like a specific like specific section for those sort of notes. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been so good and I'm like I can't believe like this is my first year with the weeks because I think if I had started with the weeks the first year, I think I would have, this would have been game changing. But anyways, it's never too late to start. Um, I watched this video by, I think it was like Rachel in theory, and she talked about how you might be like a monthly planner, a yearly planner, or a daily planner, or like a weekly planner. And I always thought that I was not a weekly planner because I used to get those like generic like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. I used to get those and for some reason my brain hated those. And I think what's different about the weeks is that you have basic that layout right here. And then you have space to what do whatever else you need to do. Because if I had a task that needed to be completed that week, but it wasn't specific to that day... For some reason, my brain would not, like, compute. Anyways, that's that's the fun part about doing having ADD. But anyways, this has been really good. I'm excited to see what happens as I fill out the the, the, the year. Um, as, you've, as you might have seen here, um, 
I did get these like little stickers to decorate them with. See these little cat stickers and these little stamps. And I love that there's like a little quote here. I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is such wasted space. But like, it's like kind of like breathing room almost to me. But anyways. Um, that's pretty much my my tour for my weeks. I hope you guys liked the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Adios.